Okay, next exercise is your first bootstrap. It's your turn to create your first bootstrap site from scratch. First, copy and paste the bootstrap skeleton in from docs. In the head, title your website, My First Bootstrap. Inside the body, create a div with the class container. This is a bootstrap class that will automatically set the width and padding of your content depending on the screen size. Inside the div, create an H1 tag that contains welcome to my first bootstrap site. And inside a P tag, write three sentences about what you have learned so far in this course. So let's get started. We are going to build our first bootstrap. So in order to make your first bootstrap site, you need to always just like any web page, start with your customary tags. And I hope you remember this from way back in the HTML unit, but our first tag is always the doc type tag. Then we'll need an HTML set of opening and closing tags to start our web page, and just like us, a head and a body. So the first thing you want to do is add that bootstrap starter code. We went over that in the first exercise. It's a bunch of code. You don't have to memorize it. Just go over to the docs, go to adding bootstrap and just copy everything that you see inside of the opening and closing head tag. I went over what these different pieces of code mean. So if you want to refresh your memory, just go over to the previous exercise. We won't go over that now. Just know that this code is necessary for Bootstrap to function properly. We want to give our web page a title. We're going to do so under the Bootstrap code. You can always add your own CSS as well, but make sure that it goes under the Bootstrap code where you're putting your title. So the title for this is My First Bootstrap. All right, so that looks great. Now, if we run this, there still won't be anything visible because our body's empty. So we got all of the background stuff going. Let's get started on the body. Inside of a Bootstrap web page, in the body, all of the site content needs to be inside a container div so that the content is responsive. So the first step to creating a Bootstrap site content-wise is creating a div with the class equal to container. So remember we said that Bootstrap has a bunch of classes that are used for styling. The container class is one of those. And what the container class does is it sets your website to a fixed width and makes your website responsive to different screen device sizes. Okay, so that's the first step. We got our div with the class container and we want to add some content inside of this div so we are going to create an h1 tag that says welcome to my first bootstrap site and a paragraph that shares three things that you learned in this class so i'm just gonna put in a few things that i've learned HTML, CSS, and advanced HTML, CSS, including animation, filters, and interactivity. We have learned a lot. So if I run this, here goes my website. Beautiful. If we open it up in a new window, we can see our first bootstrap site. And I know this may look simple, but without the bootstrap, Again, I think it's really important to see what it looks like before you add Bootstrap or without the Bootstrap so you can really appreciate what this is doing. So if I just quickly cut that out and I refresh my page, or let me launch it again in a new window, this is what it would look like without the Bootstrap, and this is what it looks like with the Bootstrap. So what's happening here is this code that we added in the head of our document, the CSS, is basically using style rules that are in this style sheet and applying them to our bootstrap site to give it this beautiful professional look so very quickly and easily you can alter the look and feel of your website giving it a way more professional look by just including some simple bootstrap framework elements okay so that's our first bootstrap we have officially completed lesson two and you are all doing great so far. I'll see you in lesson three. Any questions, please leave it in a comment. Nice work.